Welcome to the boat cheat. Here we're going to try to make your time on the water much more fun by showing you boating cheats that make life easier. Please click subscribe. This is free. We promise not to send you any junk mail and it allows us to make more films like this one. In this clip we're going to imagine you're leaving a Mediterranean charter base in a big catamaran. The marina's packed and you're moored stern to we're going to point out a cheat which makes handling the boat much easier in this situation. In this scenario, the wind is pushing the boat to port. First, we need to think about the forces that will be acting on the boat. To do that, we're using really basic graphics. Helm and rudders, amidships, to starboard, and to port. Engine controls and props. Port prop in red, starboard in green. Shown here in neutral, forward idle, forward above idle. Reverse is done exactly the same way. Let's look at the forces involved if we put just the port engine in forward gear and apply some power. The engine's offset from the boat's centre of gravity, so the offset causes a turning moment about the centre of gravity of the boat. When the boat starts moving, this is increased by the resistance of the water on the hulls, which also acts through the centre line once it's all averaged out. I guess we all know what happens if we wait and do nothing at this point. As expected, the boat moves ahead and turns to starboard. If you wanted to keep the boat pointing in the same direction, you'd need to steer to port, towards the live engine. So let's reset and try again with some steering put in before we start. So, if we put one engine in forward drive and steer to keep the boat pointing in the same direction, the boat moves forwards and towards the side with the engine in neutral. That just might prove to be really useful. Let's look again at our docked boat. Remember we had a wind from the starboard side pushing us off to port? If we don't plan for that, then when we try to leave the berth, we'll find we're being pushed onto the boat downstream of us. So, how can we cheat and avoid this invitation to go fender wrestling? We can use the asymmetric power cheat to leave the dock without getting pushed onto the boat downstream of us. We start off by putting the downstream engine in forward idle, as we are here. And then we let go the bow mooring lines, the downstream first, and then the upstream line. Then we put in half rudder to port, only half because that way we've still got some steering in both directions once we get moving. Next we ask for the downstream stern line, in this case the port line, to be let go and then we wait. Just a few seconds as the forces from the propeller, the prop wash off the rudder and the starboard stern line all work together to move us up towards the boat on our starboard side. We then call for the last line to be let go and put the engine back in neutral while they do so, keeping a hand on the control lever. While the crew are letting go, the wind will start to move the boat back to port, so be ready to go without delay as soon as the line is safely clear and recovered aboard. As soon as the line is clear, put the downstream engine back in gear and increase to about a quarter to third power depending on how strong the current or wind is. And the boat will then try to move forward and to starboard while the wind blows it to port by the same amount and you gracefully leave the berth without snagging anything.
it rarely goes right first time in boating. So what do you do if the boat starts drifting downstream towards your neighbour? Simply add power, plenty if necessary, and steer towards the downstream engine to counteract the increased offset thrust. Side slip will increase and you'll move back upstream towards the middle of the gap. If you drift upstream towards the neighbour on the other side, simply take some power off. You'll need to reduce helm slightly to keep pointing the right way, side slip will reduce and you'll drift back towards the middle of the gap. Returning to the mooring, we still have the wind. If we simply follow the mantra of centering the helm and driving the boat like a tank, we would be able to keep the boat pointing where we wanted, but we wouldn't be able to counteract the drift downwind and still stay straight. And we might need to stay straight to get back into our berth. We wouldn't be able to unless, of course, we cheated. The cheat is simply the reverse of the one used going ahead. Use the upwind engine only, and steer to keep the boat pointing the way you want. We're just a little upwind here already to give ourselves time to get sorted and get started and still be roughly in the right place once we get moving. Put the upwind engine astern with one third to half power and turn the helm towards the engine being used, about halfway. Let's take a simplified look at the forces that will be acting on the boat when it's moving astern. The wind is pushing the boat to port, gently but relentlessly. The starboard engine is pushing the boat aft from the starboard side. The rudders are pushing the stern of the boat to starboard. Let's consider the force of the engine and the rudders together. They resolve like this, as a relatively small lateral rudder force and a larger propeller thrust force. Together, these forces form one combined force that acts like this. We can control the direction of this force just by adjusting one of its two component forces. More rudder makes the force more lateral, and more thrust makes it more longitudinal. And when we increased both just then, we also increased the size of the force. You don't need to remember this though, just follow some simple rules and it'll all work out for you because if we now move the combined force back to the boat, some magic happens. We have created a force pulling the boat aft and to starboard, which is acting through the centre of the boat, which will move it aft and starboard without turning it. Now let's look at the vectors affecting the boat as we go astern. Our magic prop rudder vector is pulling the boat aft and starboard. The wind is pushing the boat to port and they combine to move the boat straight back towards the berth. Using the same rules as going ahead, if you start drifting downwind, increase power. And to keep straight, increase rudder. And you'll stop the drift and go where you want to go. If you start moving upwind, decrease power and rudder, and you straighten up and go where you want to go. So, simple rules, going ahead, use the downwind engine only. Start with half rudder towards the engine to be used, that way you'll still have some steering in both directions once you get moving. Once moving, to change course to windward, increase power. To change course to leeward, decrease power. 
and simply use the rudder to keep pointing the right way, not to change the direction of movement of the boat. Going astern is exactly the same except going astern use the upwind engine only.